Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. What's going on, everybody? We got a great episode for you today. Uh, today, we're going to talk about overtraining and can you overtrain or what is overtraining? How often should you train? All that kind of stuff. And uh, I think it's going to be super helpful uh, to a lot of people that maybe mess with their plants a little bit too much. Uh, but first things first, as always, guys, we got to get to the intro. We got to pay the bills for the channel. If you don't like it, just skip forward like two minutes, is what this usually takes. If you want to hang around and let me talk a little bit more, then be my guest. Guys, if you haven't joined our Patreon, make sure you check it out. The link to it is in the video description below. We'll take you right to it. You get one-on-one -on -one consultations with me where we can look at your plants in real time, just like we're looking at each other right now, only your plants will also be on the screen, just like you've seen in the videos where I go over people's plants uh, for the contest. Uh, guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, watch the full video. All that stuff helps out the channel a ton, for, especially for us Canna content creators because YouTube sure as heck isn't helping us, especially because they just demonetized the channel again for the fourth time now. Uh, so all that would be much appreciated. Uh, guys, if you're looking in for, let me scoot over a little bit. If you're looking for any kind of new light, new tent, new whatever, Mars Hydro pretty much, pretty much, pretty much makes everything there is to make in this space and it is all fantastic. We've been using it for years now at this point, and I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't use it myself. And you can see the kind of results that I get using their equipment. Uh, you can also, at checkout, if you put in code WTTGT, get an extra discount on your order. And uh, you have to use our link that's in the video description below, and you get a nice discount at checkout. Who doesn't wanna save some money? So make sure you check out Mars Hydro if you're looking for any kind of new equipment for your grow. Oh, right. The intro's over. The intro's over. I got. I do need still need this paper still though. It's got the rest of the. It's got the rest of the episode on it. Let me recenter myself now that the advertising is over. Uh, but uh, also, oh, wait, one more thing. Just one more thing. One more thing, real quick. If you want to see me mess with snakes, pythons, all that kind of stuff, check out my link to my uh, Python channel where we breed pythons just like we breed plants uh, to make all kinds of cool babies. We got over thirty babies right now at the. Uh, at, in the grow room uh, because that's where I keep the snakes because they actually really like the same environment that the plants like. So uh, make sure you check that out in the video description. Maybe give us a subscribe, watch a video or two. All right, let's go. Woo! What's up, everybody? We are back. Taking a break from getting our, we have one of the largest merch drops ever happening very soon. Uh, for all you people out in YouTube land, it will be available on Sunday. You will be available to order any merch that's left over, which I doubt it'll be a ton, but there might be some left uh, after my Patreons get through with their order. But we got a great episode for you today. Uh, I get quite, you know, quite a few questions on this, and if you guys don't know, when you leave questions on my YouTube videos, or if you leave questions, if you send them to an email, uh, I don't get I don't get to a ton of the emails anymore. I get around 1,200 emails a day because I'm a big dumb idiot that puts his emails in videos a lot of the times. Uh, so I do get to a few hundred of them a day. But if I get 1,200, if I get 1,200 a day and I only get through 200, well, I'm sorry, I you know I didn't get to answer a thousand of them. But if I don't have to answer your email after a few days, send it again because it's like 3,000 emails down. Uh, so it'd be much appreciated. Um, or you can join the Patreon and uh, oh. That's, that's intro stuff. I joined the Patreon. All right. So today we're going to talk about overtraining or how often should you train to get the most out of your plants? Because this is actually a pretty big deal. These plants don't want you in there messing with them every single day. So today we're going to talk about the different kinds of training uh, and how often you should apply them, how often you should leave them alone, and if there's any exceptions to these rules. Uh, so we're going to talk about all those things today because generally when I get a bunch of questions on a subject, I make a video on it, write out my little script and I make a video on it. So the main question is, can you train too often? Yes. Yes, you can. You can train too often. Um, every time you train, you do slow these plants down 
a bit, depending on the kind of training. Low stress training slows them down a little bit. High stress training slows them down uh, a bit more than low stress training. There's a reason there's a difference between low and high stress training. Uh, at the same time though, I don't think one of the training methods is better than the other training method. So I kind of got like a halo happening back here. It's pretty cool. Actually, it kind of looks like boobs. <laughs> so um, I prefer high stress training my plants. Uh, I think the plants, while they do have an initial slowdown of growth, I think the redirection of the growth hormone to the lower part of the plants actually does speed them up in the long run, gets you a bigger, better plant faster. Um, so I like to do high stress training, but that doesn't mean that low stress training doesn't have any value. I do do low stress training also, uh, especially with scrog nets. I don't do any of the silly wire ties or anything like that. Uh, I mainly stick to high stress training, but can you, can you over train your plants? The answer is yes, you can over train your plants. You're not going to catch me in there up. Oh, I'm going to go in there and top on a Monday. Uh, I'm going to go in there and low stress train on Tuesday and Wednesday. Up, oh, I'm going to go in there and super crop on Friday. No, this is not the proper way to train your plants. And you will stunt them and slow them down if you are constantly in there messing with them. Constantly in there cracking branches or tying them down. Whenever I am going to train, I train one time a week. Is there an exception to this rule? Yes, and we will get to that soon. So patient. Um, but for the most part, training is only one time a week. Whether you're high stress or low stress training, you don't need to do this more than once a week, except for the exception we're going to talk about in a minute. So if I go in there, I'm just going to pick a day of the week. Let's say Saturdays, because let's say I'm off work on Saturday. Saturdays is my day. I'm going to go in and train. You do not need to go in and train more than this. Just one time a week, and I promise you, you will be fine. And this is kind of where I have found where I get the maximum amount of growth for at least I'm training, you know, still, I'm still training once per week, but I'm also still letting the plant recover and then expand on what I did to the training to slow it down, or, you know, with the topping or femming or super cropping or low stress training, you know, LST, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I still get the maximum benefit of training all the time, one time per week. But I also still allow maximum plant recovery and growth by not messing with it also. So just one time a week, I'm going to go in there. I will top all my plants. I will super crop my branches, depending on what I'm going to do, depending on my plant shape. If you want more help on plant shape, we got a great video. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Plant Training. And we go over different types of plant sizes and shapes and what we would, which training method we would apply to them. But we're not talking about that kind of stuff today because that's a 20-minute conversation all by itself. Um, so whenever I'm going to go in there, I'm just going to go in one time a week and do my training. I'm going to do it to all my plants in all my gardens. I, I'm just going to pick one day a week and then that's my training day. And then I won't do it again. And for another week now you're like, so what's this exception you're talking about? There is an exception to this rule where you're training just one time a week. And that is during the stretch. If you are using scrog nets, anything like that, we talk about controlling the canopy you're going to have to go in every single day for that three weeks. Not too much on the first week because the plants don't stretch out a ton that first week. So you're like, well, so I get to go in every day and train? Yes, but you're going to be doing a form of low stress training with the scrog net. Uh, scrog nets are a form of low stress training. And we're just using the scrog net to support and spread out the canopy during the stretch, which is the first three weeks of flower. Uh, it's really only the second and the third week. The first week they're in a transition week from veg to flower, so they don't stretch a ton, barely at all. But the weeks two and week three is going to be really important weeks to use that scrog net to uh, spread out your canopy as they grow up, tuck them into new squares, and that's week two and week three of the stretch, and uh, it's your best bet for uh, going to have to be in there every single day. So that is the one exception to the rule of when you would train every day. Um, if you stick to this program of just training them once a week, I promise you, you get bigger plants faster with more tops and they'll be a lot healthier and happier for it because you kind of ride that line between, you know, as we said earlier, between maximum growth and still being able to train every week. Don't go over it. If you just stick to it, I promise you, you're going to get bigger, happier plants. All right, GT out. Hope everybody has a fantastic week.